I'm li- I be, I be streaming on Twitch. I be streaming on Twitch, and you don't be in the chat. What's up with that? Huh? What's up with that? So what I'm gonna need you to do, since you here already, I'm gonna need you to go follow me on Twitch. I'm gonna need you to go do that. You say you gang, right? You say you gang, though, right? So why you ain't dead? See, bro, you not gang for real. You not gang for real. Have you ever been a side piece? And no, I'm not talking about food, obviously. I'm talking about the side piece. You know, the guy she go to when the relationship ain't, you know, relationship enough for her. Or she just wants something new to, you know, freshen it up a little bit. If you have, let me know in the comments. And can we aim for a thousand likes this video? It helped me out a lot. Appreciate you. So this story takes place in fifth grade, back when I was a weird, scrawny kid who liked anime and comic books. The thing is, I'm still a weird, scrawny kid who likes anime and comic books, so not much has changed, but what has changed is my experience with women. Okay, that hasn't changed much neither, but I'm way better off now than I was back then. I did not know how to attract women in the slightest, bro. It was like I was spamming a track, but I didn't have enough PP for the move. In fifth grade, I had this crush I'ma call Selena. Now, I was head over heels for this girl, but she, she would never give me the time of day. If it's one thing I gotta give younger me credit for, it's resiliency. Cause he could get knocked out by Mike Tyson and still get back up. And she knew I liked her. I mean, the whole fifth grade class knew I liked her. That's how infatuated I was with this girl. The whole school year, I'd be trying to impress her or figure out ways I could get her to like me back. I even crossed up a handicapped dude playing basketball at recess thinking that would impress her. You need to leave. Okay, he wasn't handicapped. He just had to wear a boot on one of his legs because he fell down the stairs and he was my friend. So regardless, you get the point. I was down bad. The problem was she had a boyfriend. This was the least of my worries though. I knew that if I could get her to realize he was lame compared to me, or at least lamer than me, I was golden. Not to mention, she had home room with me, so she was already spending the majority of her time around me anyways. So it was only a matter of time before all those times of me making her laugh in class was going to catch up to him. One day is school picture day. You already know how horrible these days were. Might make a video on these later, but I'm in line and of course I'm by Selena and I'm flirting. Man, come on, Selena. Why are you always playing with me? I'm trying to treat you like the queen you are for real. <laughs> well, I'm not playing. Plus, I have a boyfriend already. You already know that. Ugh. That guy, you serious? You know I'm better than him. Yeah, well, even if that's the case, I'm still with him. Most likely the conversation wasn't this smooth, but we got done taking pictures and we head to class. I don't know what made her consider a change of heart. Maybe she was talking to one of her friends about me. Maybe she came to her senses or maybe she just felt bad, but she comes up to me in class and is like, hey, um, I'm willing to be your girlfriend. Oh, really? <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> oh, really? About time, girl. Yeah, so um, I just got a couple rules. Firstly, no holding hands. Um, no kissing. Oh yeah, no calling me your girlfriend outside of this classroom. Basically, don't do any of the relationship stuff outside of class because I'm still dating my boyfriend and I don't want him to find out about us. So, yeah. Um, are you okay with that? Oh, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, f for sure, for sure. I get you. See, I never should have agreed to that. I should have realized my self-worth. I am not a side piece. I'm obviously a main dish. Plus, I believe in monogamy. You know, one man, one woman, and no outside forces in between besides the most high. But younger me was not trying to hear that. I was just excited to be able to say I had a girlfriend, bruh. So the next day comes, and I'm walking around school with this newfound girlfriend confidence, you know? I get around Selena and she's with her friends. With her being my so-called girlfriend now, I go to hold her hand, but she shrugs it off. Then I remember the rules she said. Throughout the day, it slowly starts to creep in that I'm not really her boyfriend. I'm really a side piece. She really made me August Alcina. I'd see her and her real boyfriend and they're doing all the stuff you would actually do well within a fifth grade relationship, but I couldn't help but think to myself. I'm really down bad. I had reached a new low. And what makes it even worse is, I still wasn't gonna call it off. Technically, I still pull my crush. A win is a win, at least until this one day. See, 
I don't remember what day it was, but the school pictures we took on picture day had finally been released to the campus. I don't know if this was just my school, but this is the era before phones, so all the girls used to get the little wallet sized pictures and give them to every boy they liked around school. I wasn't too worried about this seeing how I had a newly found relationship with Selena, so I knew I was guaranteed to get at least one. So all throughout the day, I'm seeing girls giving their crushes their pictures, but I have yet to receive one from Selena. And we have the same class. I decided to confront her about it. Yo, Selena, when are you gonna be giving me your picture? You know, I saw the other girls giving their boyfriends one, so you know, I figured I should be getting one from you, of course. Though, I'm not tripping if you don't give me one, but I just wanted to make sure I was getting one if I was. Relax, relax. I just wanted to make sure my boyfriend got his first so we could still be good, you know? Here you go. I had done it. I had done it. I had gotten my photo. I went to flex to my boys about getting my photo and how they were lame because they didn't get any and one of my classmates overheard our conversation. He comes over and he says, Yo, you got a pic from Selena? I got one too. You got one too? I'm heartbroken, crushed. Because while I was aware that I was the side piece, I didn't know there were multiple side pieces. She had me sliding down walls. I didn't even know what to say. I kind of just awkwardly stand there. It was over. How could I have been so stupid? I don't know who to feel bad for, me or her real boyfriend. And what makes it all bad is I still didn't end the relationship. Moral of the story, if you're a kid, enjoy being a kid. Us being in fifth grade, we didn't have no business even trying to be in relationships. Not to mention, our little minds probably couldn't even understand what the concept of love even was. So yeah, if you're a kid, enjoy being a kid as long as you can. Because one day it's going to be gone before you know it. And then you'll be looking back wishing you were still a kid. So with that being said, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Shalom.